class we covered the uh, chapter 2 which has something to do with uh, continuous dependence on the linear data and um, how we can write down uh, um, the solutions when you have uh, a small perturbations uh, in the initial condition or in the right hand side of the ordinary differential equation and we also learned about uh, some results and we did some examples. So now uh, today I will start uh, stability analysis basically and we will start with the linear uh, system of equations and uh, their stability. So today I will uh, show you how you can write the system of equations in a certain matrix form then we will do one or two examples and slowly we move towards their uh, stability alright. So let us proceed. Um, so, how do we write the uh, system of uh, differential equations into um, a kind of like a, a matrix equation, not exactly a matrix equation, but in terms of a matrix. So, suppose um, we have uh, from I mean from linear algebra you can recall. So, we will do it for a 2 by 2 matrix and uh, you can sort of uh, um, get the idea that uh, if we have a, a higher order uh, system of equations then how we can put it into a matrix form. All right. So, let us do it for the 2 by 2 system. So, from linear algebra if you remember a if a is equals to you have uh, a 1 1 uh, a 1 2 then uh, a 2 1 and uh, a 2 2 right uh, the given matrix and its determinant is uh, denoted by this and it is basically uh, a 1 1 a 1 2 a 2 1 and a 2 2 which of course you can expand and write a 1 1 times a 2 2 minus a 1 2 times a 2 1 and uh, consider a linear system and consider a linear system this you have you must have already done a linear system of equations of equations. So, what is that uh, a 1 1 into x 1 a 1 2 into x 2 equals to b 1 and uh, a 2 1 into x 1 a 2 2 into x 2 equals to b 2. So, this can be put into the matrix form as uh, capital A times x equals to b right where we have a equals to a 1 1 a 1 2 a 2 1 a 2 2 and uh, x is our usual solution vector which is x 1 x 2 and uh, b will be our right hand side b 1 b 2. So, this is basically our 2 by 2 system you can have higher order systems system 2. So, from linear algebra we know uh, these two theorems. So, theorem 1 I am not going to prove it, but uh, this actually comes from linear algebra. So, you can look into a book on linear algebra. So, it says that if uh, determinant of A is non zero, then for any vector B, then for any vector B, uh, there exists, there exists a unique uh, solution of the system. I think we should give it a name of the system. Let us give it a name 1 of the system 1 and uh, it is given by the solution will be very simple to write x 1 equals to b 1 a 1 2 and uh, b 2 a 2 2 determinant by determinant of a and uh, x 2 will be uh, a 1 1 a 1 2 uh, b 1 b 2 divided by determinant uh, I am not writing that I am writing uh, with the symbol. So, you can also write a determinant by that symbol uh, divided by determinant of a and uh, in particular you can continue uh, in particular in particular um, if b 1 
equals to b2 equals to 0. That means, the right hand side is 0 of this system. Then we get uh, a unique solution. Then the unique solution, unique solution is um, x1 equals to 0 and x2 equals to 0, right. So, this is a very first theorem uh, for system of equations when you are solving it that you learned in linear algebra. There is nothing much to explain here. So, I will state the second theorem. Uh, second theorem is about when the determinant is uh, 0. So, if the determinant, so determinant we write uh, with this uh, mod symbol or you can also write that A. So, either one of them is fine. So, if determinant of A is equals to 0, then uh, the homogeneous system, homogeneous system in 1 that is i e b is a 0 vector right i e uh, has non-zero solution, non-zero solutions right, non-zero solutions uh, hence non-zero solutions. Uh, hence, if the only solution of the homogeneous system is x1 equals to 0, x2 equals to 0, then determinant of A or you can write it with the mod symbol must be non-zero, right. So, basically if your determinant of A is equals to 0, then the homogeneous system that means when your right hand side is 0 has non-zero solution and if uh, the homogeneous system has uh, 0 solution, then your determinant has to be non-zero. So, these are the uh, two results that we need when we write the given differential equation in terms of uh, system of equation because from there we will go to the stability part. All right. So, let us motivate the idea of how to write uh, differential equation in terms of matrix equation. So, um, you can give it an article number. Uh, so, Uh, article number representation of system of uh, linear differential equations via uh, or in terms of matrices uh, in terms of matrices. It is a very uh, uh, nice way to represent it. So, suppose we have, uh, we will do it for 2 by 2 system again, but it can be generalized to higher systems. So, dx1 dt equals to I have a11 x1 plus a12 x2, then we have dx2 by dt is equals to a21 x1 plus a22 x2 and of course, we have some initial conditions. So, here we have x1 at 0 is equals to x10 and we have x2 at 0 is equals to x20. All right. Let us call this as uh, system 2. So, this is 2a and 2b. Okay. Now, we say that um, let x1 equals to so, suppose if uh, x2 was not there in the first equation, so then we can just divide it by uh, x1 and then you integrate and then the solution will be of the type x1 equals to e to the power um, a11 t times some constant and similarly for dx2 by dt. When a1, a, a21 is 0, so then basically you have dx2 dt equals to a22 into x2 and then you write the solution in terms of exponential form. So, motivated from that, we are saying that suppose uh, um, uh, let x1 equals to uh, v1 
e to the power lambda t and uh, x 2 equals to um, v 2 e to the power lambda t be the solutions of equation 2 a that is the first one and uh, 2 b that is the second equation respectively respectively. So, this is our 2 a and uh, this is our 2 b ok, where uh, respectively where v 1 and v 2 are to be determined to be determined from the equations from the equations what is that equation um, a 1 1 into v 1 plus a 1 2 into v 2 equals to v 1 times lambda and a 2 1 into v 1 a 2 2 into v 2 equals to v 2 times lambda. So, this can be written as a 1 1 minus lambda into v 1 plus a 1 2 into v 2 equals to 0 and this one is a 2 1 v 1 plus a 2 2 minus lambda into v 2 equals to 0 right. So, this can be this can be uh, written in the matrix form in the matrix form as how do we write and the, in the matrix form as a 1 1 minus lambda a 1 2 and this one is a 2 1 and then a 2 2 minus lambda then vector uh, v which is v 1 and v 2 and on the right hand side you have 0 vector where vector v is equals to v 1 and v 2 right. Let us call it as equation number 3. So, here uh, or you can write it as a into v is equals to 0 vector. There may be this we can call it as equation number 3 uh, where our matrix A is nothing but A 1 1 minus lambda A 1 2 and then A 2 1 A 2 2 minus lambda right. So, basically what do we have here? We have uh, A vector uh, or let us call this as uh, A bar let us denote it by A bar and uh, A bar and uh, we can visualize this as uh, a bar. So, again I want to reserve a for the a 1 1 matrix only. So, a bar again from 3 we have from 3 we have I can uh, 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 split equation number 3 and then this will become a uh, bar into v. So, that means a minus lambda i into v is equals to 0 vector where now here I will write a is equals to our coefficient matrix a 1 1, a 1 2, a 2 1, a 2 2 and uh, i is our identity matrix 1 0 0 1 and uh, v is as usual our v 1 comma v 2. So, as you can see um, for this system since we have right hand side as um, uh, as 0 vector, then we can go back to the theorem 2 uh, of that uh, uh, linear uh, system of linear equations basically. And uh, according to theorem uh, 1 and theorem 2, a non-zero non solution that means uh, v1 and v2 will be non-zero if and only if uh, there exists a delta that satisfies the characteristics equation, right. So, by theorem 1 and 2, by the theorem we just stated by theorem 1 and theorem 2 theorem 1 and uh, uh, theorem 1 and theorem 2 
we have that a non zero a non zero uh, solution v exist if and only if if and only if if and only if lambda satisfies uh, the character satisfies the characteristics equation uh, ch character characteristics equation which is a determinant of a minus lambda i this is the condition that we have gotten um, or you can use uh, the notation this a minus lambda i is equals to 0 where a is the coefficient matrix that is coming from uh, the system of equation itself right. So, a minus lambda i must be 0. So, basically if you have this type of situation where you have determinant of a minus lambda i is equals to 0. So, then lambda is called as the eigenvalue of the matrix a. So, from here we can say that lambda is the eigenvalue e i g e n eigenvalue of the matrix A, right? It is the eigenvalue of the matrix A and, and the corresponding the corresponding vector V is called the eigenvector. fine is called the eigenvector and uh, then uh, from here you can write down the characteristics equation in terms of lambda then we can solve for lambda and uh, get two values for which we will get the two eigenvectors and therefore, uh, we can write if uh, lambda 1 and lambda 2 be the uh, be the or are uh, this are the are the two uh, solutions of the CH equation. CH equation let us call it as I have to see equation number. So, earlier I had 3 and then this is equation number 4. Okay. This is equation number 4. Uh, solution of the characteristics equation 4 where lambda 1 is not equals to lambda 2, then the general solution, general solution of this system, what is that system? Let us go back. So, system 2 of this system 2 is given by x t is equals to c 1 w 1 e to the power lambda 1 t plus c 2 w 2 e to the power lambda 2 t, where uh, w 1 and w 2 are the eigenvectors corresponding to lambda 1 and lambda 2. Respectively of course, yes respectively. Then we can write a small theorem. Let us say theorem 3. We will not prove this, but anyways, we are going to write it. So, if lambda 1 is not equals to lambda 2, then for any initial values, for any initial values x at 0, 
uh, equals to x 0 and uh, for any initial values x 0 equals to b, uh, x 0 equals to b not x 0, but x 0 equals to uh, b. x 0 equals to b, where b is equals to b 1, b 2, uh, comma, there exists uh, a unique, there exists a unique solution, unique solution of um, Uh, system 2 na, of the system uh, system 2. For any initial values x 0 equals to b, uh, where b there exists a unique solution of this system, right. Um, now, uh, we will state uh, something called uh, equilibrium points, but before equilibrium points let me show you a very quick example. So, it is not very lengthy. So, I will solve one example just to give you a feeling of how we are putting this differential equation in terms of a solution uh, or in, uh, in terms of eigenvectors. So, let us look at one example. So, we have uh, d x 1 by d t equals to minus of x 1 plus 6 x 2 and uh, d x 2 by d t equals to 2 x 1 plus 3 x 2, right. So, we want to write down the solution of this differential equation. Um, then, if we go by the previous uh, problem, uh, here we have uh, x 1 at 0 is equals to I am putting some x 1 0 and uh, x 2 at 0 equals to some x 2 0. This we can mention and try to identify the arbitrary constants. So, that is not important here, um, we can talk about it later. So, first of all here the coefficient matrix A will be written as minus 1, 6, 2 and 3 and uh, lambda belongs to C. So, then the C H equation, then the characteristics equation will be given by a minus lambda i. So, minus 1 minus lambda 6, uh, 2, 3 minus lambda equals to 0. This must be the, uh, equals to 0 and from here, uh, if we solve, then we will basically get lambda square minus 2 lambda uh, minus 15 equals to 0, right. And from here, we will get lambda equals to minus 3 and uh, this is our lambda 1 and uh, equals to 5. So, this is my lambda 2. So, lambda 1 is minus 3, lambda 2 is 5. Now, then uh, the two equations, then uh, the um, uh, then the equations where we have written uh, a 1 1 uh, v 1 and uh, this equation basically where is that. Uh, Uh, this equation. Uh, so, basically this equation. So, this equation will reduce to I mean since we are using uh, v 1 and v 2. Uh, so, this equation will reduce to uh, this equation will reduce to uh, will reduce to then the equation uh, if I have not given the number. So, I should go back and give that a number. So, let us give it a number. Uh, so, I will call it a star. So, then the equation star reduces to reduces to um, 2 v 1 plus 6 v 2 equals to 0 and uh, the second one will be um, 2 v 1 
plus 6 V 2. So, from here um, we can take, uh, so this is when uh, lambda equals to minus 3. So, reduces to this when uh, lambda equals to, when lambda 1 equals to minus 3. So, basically what are we getting? We are getting V 1 is equals to minus of 3 V 2. Okay. And uh, we can take, so from here we can uh, take uh, V1 equals to uh, 3 and uh, V2 equals to, we can take uh, V2 equals to uh, 1 and V1 is equals to minus of 3. And uh, let us go to the next solution. Uh, when lambda 2 equals to 5, then star reduces to then star reduces to, um, we will get 2 V 1 minus of, uh, uh, we will get 2 V 1 plus 6 V 2. So, basically uh, if I substitute lambda equals to 5, so this will become minus of, so we will get, um, if I substitute then we will get minus of 6 V 1 plus 6 V 2 equals to 0 and uh, the other one will be uh, 2 V 1 uh, minus of 2 V 2 equals to 0. So, basically I will get V 1 minus V 2 equals to 0 and from here also V 1 minus V 2 equals to 0. So, basically I can take, um, um, take v 1 is equals to 1 and v 2 equals to also 1. Okay. So, therefore, uh, we can conclude that we can conclude that e to the power minus of 3 t then we have uh, what are the values we have taken let us go back uh, minus 3 and 1. Okay. So, minus 3 minus 3 and 1 and uh, e to the power 5 t 1 1 are the two solutions. I mean if you write in terms of constants then basically you have to write uh, v 2 v 1 is equals to v 2 is equals to some constant k. So, for every value of k you are getting a solution. So, then basically um, second eigen vector would be your v 1 v 2 where it will be k k. So, k out. So, for every k you are getting a solution. So, if you take k is equals to 1 then basically 1 1 is one of the eigen vectors. Similar goes for the first one lambda 1 equals to minus 3 case right. So, are the two solutions of the given system given system. And uh, therefore, if you have taken in terms of constants like k 1 and k 2 and therefore, uh, the general solution, general solution of the given system, of the given system is x t equals to c 1, uh, c 1 e to the power minus of 3 t minus 3 1 plus c 2 e to the power 5 t 1 1 right. So, this is the required solution of your given system where c 1 and c 2 are of course, arbitrary constants where c 1 and c 2 are arbitrary constants. Or once you have the eigenvalues, you can also determine the eigenvectors, the method we already know. So, with the help of eigenvector and uh, eigenvalue, we can write down the solution x t as c 1 e to the power that lambda 1 t into the corresponding eigenvector plus c 2 into e to the power lambda 2 t into the corresponding eigenvector and that will be our general solution of the given system, right. Now, from here actual discussion comes that when, when do we call this um, uh, system of equation uh, leading to the stable solution and unstable solution, right. 
So, stable solution and unstable solution that means as t tends to infinity whether x t remains bounded or not whether x t tends to um, uh, some finite quantity or whether it blows up and if it blows up then it will become unstable solution. Uh, so, for, for example, in this case if you look at the solution here then basically what is happening is when you do t tends to infinity you can see the first term where you have e to the power minus of 3 t of course, it will go towards 0. So, it is bounded. But the second term is where you have e to the power 5 t. So, as t tends to infinity it will diverge to plus infinity. So, basically it tells you that if the Eigen values of your system is less than 0. So, let us say in this 2 by 2 system if the Eigen values of your system is less than 0 as t tends to infinity then you will get the stable solution at least when t tends to infinity it will not blow up. If both of them both the Eigen values or if any one of the Eigen values are positive then it will create a problem then it will give you an unstable solution because when you do t tends to infinity one of them is going to infinity and therefore it will not lead to a bounded uh, quantity or it will not tend to 0 um, and therefore you say that the solution is unstable. All right. So, we will see how to formulate a differential equation in terms of a matrix in a way uh, I mean we have already seen and how we connect it with the stable and unstable solution. So, that we will see in the um, in the next class. So, I will uh, stop here today and uh, we will continue this discussion in the next class. So, thank you.